Hi everyone, my name is Anasha Kopani and I'm the winner of the 2018 Nepro Cup. I did today the French ombre nails because it's very popular right now all over. And, but still, a lot of uh, nail techs doesn't know how to do it perfectly. So this is what I wanted to show you guys today. And I also wanted to show how easy to use a one-step gel color on the top of the nail without using base and top coat. My technique for creating uh, using nail forms instead of tips, nail tips. I never use nail tips, only some competition, but usually in the salon when I used to work there, I used only nail forms. So I use a soft white, a natural white for the free edge and a camouflage cover pink to make the blending. The consistency of the uh, acrylic uh, should be not too wet, not too dry, like somehow in the middle. When I'm doing a nail, a set of nail, I have to talk before with the client what kind of shape she wants. If she wants square, if she wants almond shape, pointed, stiletto, always you have to sculpt the nail, the shape what the client wants. Because if you just make a square and after to shape the nail for almond, it's not nice. You have to create the nail exactly the shape you want to make for the client. The Etco is our brand with my husband and the name of the Etco is his name, the Edange, the first two letters and the K-O is my last name too, the Copani. And um, we created this brand with uh, his sister. We created the one-step gel. The difference with the one-step gel, you can remove with alcohol instead of acetone. So because we, we had to do something different like other company has. The benefit of using one step gel is uh, you don't need base coat and you don't need top coat. And the surface after curing is super shiny. You have to soak it, yes, about 10 minutes. Same like when you have regular gel polish, but because the one step gel doesn't have a tech layer, so you don't need to clean with the cleanser which contains alcohol, so it doesn't make anything with the nails because it's just a one step, you don't need base and top coat. My husband and I met 2011. He was looking for someone who can help him uh, with competition nails because he has been doing nails for 15 years, but he wanted to improve himself with competition. And he found me on internet and he was traveling from south of France to Hungary by motorcycle, which is a 12 hours or 14 hours drive, depends on how much how many times you stop with your car or with your motorcycle. And this is how we met first. Then I moved to France. But after we, we had a dream to come to the USA to live, we found a very good uh, attorney who helped us to have the green card. And we got the green card because of my competition results in the past. Sometimes it's difficult to work with my husband, of course, because he's a man, I'm a woman, and sometimes we see things different way. But we always figure it out how to work together well. Mm -hmm. 
I have been competing for 19 years and that was the first time I entered to a competition in the USA it was 2006. But I competed only one time and only one category is not, I had no idea about the Nail Pro Cup ever. And since 2011, I'm competing here every year. But that was the first time for me to go for the gold. And uh, I had to step out my comfort zone because to win, I had to do some design, bling bling, 3D nail art, fantasy nail art. It's completely not me. Of course, I had some help to create this thing, how to start to create, because I have no idea how to start to make a tip box, how to make fantasy nail art. But finally, in my opinion, I could win because of my technical part, not, of, not because of the nail art. If somebody is competing in a nail pro cup, it's very good because you learn something new always, every competition. You learn how is the teamwork, because, okay, we compete against each other, but at the same time we help each other and love your competitors and help them. If somebody wants to see our work or buy our product, they can go to www.atconails.com. You can find me on Instagram at emesha.company.